Life is hard. That's why I wrote it easy way. Life is hard. That's why I wrote it easy way. Life is hard. That's why I wrote it easy way. Hey guys, welcome to the Easy Show, another wonderful episode of how you become successful the easy way. And we don't have Natasha Lloyd with us today. She wasn't able to be here, but we have Taylor Mills, our new angel. Hi, Taylor. Hi. She's thank gorgeous. you for having me. Thank you. And thank you for being on the show and letting us listen to your beautiful, sexy accent. Oh. <laughs> and now she's doing like short words. Come on. Actually say okay, I'm going to talk for a little See? while. Say talk one more time. <laughs> talk. Uh, don't you love it? Hey, and then we, of course, got my guest, my man, Sean McNabb. Yay! What's up, Sean? Yay! Hey, easy. Welcome. Uh, Taylor, I'm so sorry. <laughs> man, so uh, I met Sean actually at the One Child at a Time celebrity basketball game at the Staples Center. And it was a lot of fun. I was hanging out with the Power Rangers in their little section, and Sean was getting his butt kicked by the uh, N1 team. But you actually won. We you actually guys, did win actually the game, won. just yeah. uh, putting that out there. But uh, the, the nice group of the Sons of Anarchy came and uh, gave their time uh, to that fantastic charity, which is uh, getting loving homes for those kids, man. That's what it's all about. Yeah, speaking of kids, did you see that was the Chill Boys that was performing. And, um, you know, this, this, this event was to raise as much funding as possible for, you know, all the kids that, that are foster kids. And, Absolutely. And, and that's a really important thing. So shout outs to the uh, Los Angeles Children's Trust Fund that uh, put that on. And uh, so now you're on the easy show, man. You're about to do it the easy way you're in the easy realm. I know you've been warned. Uh, you know, I've been wanting to be on the easy show for a while, so thanks for having me. And, Thank uh, you for coming you got on. a beautiful new co-host, and I'm pretty excited about this. <laughs> yeah. So where do we begin, man? Your career is so big, so huge. I would say the number one thing the fans probably want to know about is the whole sense of anarchy thing. You know, how did how did it all start, and and uh, what's your, you know, what's the story? You know, uh, the story is I'm, I'm blessed to be part of an amazing show on FX. Uh, we're in our sixth season. I've been around since the end of season four. And, um, you know, with that show, there's just so many talented people on the gig, from the writers, the producers, the cast, the crew. It's um, just a really amazing, tight-knit family. And everybody's just You look like so a badass there with the gun. Look oh, at that. Yeah. I do not want to mess with you. Uh, you know, that gun Actually, but you look like a soft badass. Like, look at your face. It's kind of like... Like uh, smiling in a way, like I got a gun. I'm, I'm. Uh, I'll get my bad ass on when I have to, easy. <laughs> but, Are you uh, close to your real life character? Um, Are you kind of close to that character, or, or there are parts of you that are close to the character? Well, you know, it's actually cool because you know I I get to play a one percenter, which are pretty uh, pretty bad guys or can be, and uh, then I get to just uh, go home and be my normal self and not have to deal with all that. But uh, it's, it's a neat it's a neat thing to be a part of, and uh, like I said, that show it's the highest rated show in FX history, and on like every billboard everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> and it's it's got some really badass about it, and I think uh, we we've got people we've got kids we've got grandmothers we've got everybody in between that are addicted to that show. So if you haven't checked it out, Tuesday nights at ten o'clock, I think you'll get addicted too. What's next? What's the next episode? You got any goodies for us? Man, I can't. This is my show. You can't say, man, I can't say anything. You got to give us something. I, I, they'd have to kill me if I told you. Oh, uh, well, I don't want to kill easy. you. You know, I, I'm just getting to know you. So, you know, <laughs> I'd like, kind of like to stick around a little while. <laughs> So, uh, there, so now, are uh, you really a, like a you know biker guy? In, absolutely, in real life? man. I got three bikes. Uh, I love it. Um, there's some about, you know, I, I travel a lot with the music. Uh, I'm gone. I'm cooped up in planes, and and I'm blessed to be doing that. Um, but you know, I get on that bike after a long weekend, and uh, you know, or a, a long week on set, and it just all clears. You know, it, it, I just decompress. You get on, get the wind in your face, and uh, it's a nice decompression unit. It's a way to escape. Absolutely. It's your escapism. Yeah. And you, you have, so speaking of, of escaping and the stress of the life, of, of the industry, like how do you have the balance? I know that you have a relationship with Christine Devine from, from Fox and you know, you, do you have any kids? Do you, do you have brothers and sisters? Like talk to us the personal side. I am, I am blessed to uh, have a beautiful lady in my corner. Uh, nine years we've been together and uh, she's in showbiz as well. She does Fox News. Uh, she's amazing. Um, doing a lot of great, she's doing God's work, absolutely, uh, with the foster kids through a program called Wednesday's Child, mm. and um, that's how we got involved with One Child at a Time, but it's just inspiring to watch uh, somebody like that doing that kind of work, 
and then they're your partner and she you know she's gotten me involved in a lot of uh, charity work as well and it's a neat thing we get to do together because we're both busy mm -hmm. and we get to give back and it, it's a wonderful thing to be able to do that together now I just want to ask you a question now I really feel like you know Sean is just like a triple threat you know his, mm -hmm. his music uh, acting and hosting. Go on, Taylor. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but I want to ask you about, uh, apparently you've been in quite a few musicals. And I think that's really amazing. Musicals? Musicals. Yeah. Yes, I didn't know about that Come one. Come on, okay. Confessions. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about this. Well, uh, I think any good actor should. I love it. You have in the background, you got you rocking out with a guitar, but we're talking about musicals. <laughs> oh, he's got his mouth open. Close that. <laughs> Um, I think any any good actor has done uh, some theater, and uh, theater is a wonderful thing. It's really a labor of love. It takes a lot of rehearsal, but um, sometimes just the hair stands up on your arms when you're doing theater. You never know what's going to happen. Sometimes things get completely screwed up, and so, you know it's just the rush of doing live mm -hmm. theater is absolutely amazing. And, and you just have to keep going, even though you, you do. you've messed up. Yeah, you. you just, you You've got to keep going and power going, okay. up, and you just never know what's going to happen. <laughs> and then you got songs coming up, and, mm -hmm. and in my case, I was doing uh, duets with like some pretty heavy hitters you know, from Broadway and stuff. So it was, it took a giant set, uh, I gotta say, to do to do that, wow. and uh, it, it got your heart heart beating pretty good sometimes. But the experience was uh, second to none. Have you sorry? Have you ever had have you ever had any roles that you didn't want to do but you got paid a lot of money and you decided you'd like kiss a guy or something or <laughs> I actually have had to kiss a guy on, in a play. Uh, I had to do that. That I was uh, I played the angel of death in this play, uh, flirting with Morty, and that's how I would take people out. And you know, it was a, it was a little touch and go in rehearsals. And I'm like, we've we got to do this in rehearsal. Or can we wait till the actual gig? And they're like, no, nah, you got to go for it. But um, you know, as actors, we do what we've got to do, you know, and uh, it's all about the, the craft and the art. And um, when was know. it that you learned that? Because I know if I was an actor, and I am an actor, if I, I better be paid a half a billion dollars or something to do a role well, like that. That's the, mm -hmm. you know, I guess you really got to put yourself in that, in that, that mindset. I think you got to love the craft no matter what, and um, I don't do it. For the money, I do it because it it's in my soul and it's uh, a passion. It and really what's, what's is. What's this picture it's, here? Yeah. Um, boy, that's a curly-headed shot of me with Melissa Manchester, and you know who that is? That's Allison um, Arngrim from Little House on the Prairie. Uh, we did a play together. Okay, okay. So I, I did. I get. I got to kill Allison every night in the play, which was kind of <laughs> cool. Ne she was Nellie on Little House on the Prairie. I don't know if you'd remember that, but uh, I had a childhood crush on Nellie when I was a kid. Really? And then I got to kiss, uh, kill her, and kiss her every night in the play. It was. Pretty cool. That works. It's yeah. fun to be an actor. Yeah. Okay. She's great. She's great. Yeah. What about what about dancing and you know other other things? Is there anything that like like what do we not know about Sean McNabb? Mm -hmm. I'm a terrible dancer. I was the guy that doing theater. I always had to stay at, uh, you know after and the acting and the singing came easily for me. Um, not easily, but you know easier than the dance steps. The choreography always, I'd be the guy that always had to stay after class to get the choreography. So I'm a terrible dancer. Now I know you perform with, with like Aerosmith and and all these big names and you're a performer as well. Like you, you're a bass guitarist. And yeah, I'm a musician uh, at heart. I, I will never, uh, that will never leave me. It's part of who I am at my core and I love it. Um, we've been really blessed. Uh, next week Easy. Uh, we were talking about this. Uh, we're doing Monsters of Rock in uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil, with Aerosmith, White Snake, Doc in my band, Buck Cherry. So that's going to be a big old uh, monstrous rock gig, and I, I'll uh, tweet you a picture or something like that. Oh, and, please uh, do, and invite me when you're when you're rocking out. Want to go? Yeah, yeah. I do want to go. Me yeah. too. Yeah. I want to come. Yeah. We're all, all, right. all going to rock out yeah, with, with Sean McNabb. Out. Done. And you guys have seen in the background, that's actually uh, the, the little clip, little snippets of the, of the Easy Show that's going to be on TV here. And, and uh, this is our intro for um, a lot of our shows. And RMC, the whole Roscoe's Media Center thing, will have you in the studio. And you know, mm. that's me with Ray J. And, and we, I don't know, I can't I saw Travolta in there, man. Yeah, oh, John yeah. Travolta. And, and that was actually one of the Power Rangers doing the backflip in the Beverly Hills. So crazy, crazy fun Can you stuff. do a backflip, Easy? 
in the suit. Easy <laughs> <laughs> has some moves. Let me tell I, you. I got moves, but I don't got acrobatic yeah, moves. Not, not yet. I want. You know, I actually wanted to learn, but to, to actually, you know, like try to do that with your body and actually, like, I would probably land on my neck and be in the hospital. But I've, I used to break dance. I don't know if you know that. I used to break dance. I used to do windmills, head spins. Do we have um, a clip of that? <laughs> <laughs> no, that'll. Footage. Can we have some That'll footage? be coming. <laughs> they'll be coming soon. But um, actually, we do have it. I hope they don't find that on YouTube. Don't go on YouTube. Oh, she's got it. <laughs> Going. Don't Pepper, go on YouTube. Pepper's on the case. Do not find me dancing. They're gonna hunt Don't you and do find it. it. Watch out. You're about to see Easy embarrassed for the first time on his own show. There, there's, what, what is that? Is that me? That's, there he is. There he is. No. Whoa. That, that was, that's a long time ago. I don't know where you found that one, but okay. <laughs> Nicely done. Man, they're good. Pepper J Productions. Yeah, and they're so fast. They're quick. I can't believe that. Wow. But you know, speaking of dancing, we actually, you know, we work with Shane Sparks with uh, Planet Dance, and he was the choreographer for You Got Served. He was Emmy nominated. Uh, oh. Judge and So You Think You Can Dance, America's Best Dance Crew. And we're going to be doing some really fun stuff. And yeah, Shane was actually just on our show. There's Pepper, there's Shane, there's me. Cool. And, um, you yeah, know, we just had Melina Gay from Young and the Restless and Retha Gray from uh, NBC's Betty White's Off the Rockers on. Now, what do you think about shows like that? Like these old people that are running around doing these young young things. Have you ever seen Off the Rockers? Oh. I have. Old people, old people. No, uh, these, these, not old people. I mean, these baby boomers that are very young looking and Ready. smart. I think it's great. I, I love Betty White, and uh, I think everybody does. All the old people want to kick my butt now. I, was I mean, all the baby boomers. Sorry. You're I was laughing. Bad boy. <laughs> I think it's great, Easy. I, I was laughing. Uh, I saw it on a plane or something like that, and uh, it was it was hilarious, some of the setups they had. It was, uh, Any of the well scenes done. stand out, stick out in your, in, your, in your head? It's been a while since I've seen it, but it was almost like... Uh, uh, it was almost like punked for you know, but seeing the citizens have you been doing punked? it. I have not. Oh, we got a punk. Oh, yeah. Okay, right, we gotta get ready and mm -hmm. you know, do something with that. Yeah. There's Retha Gray right there doing doing her. Thing. Oh, that's old school Retha Gray. Wow. And uh, so so if you were to punk yourself, I'm just gonna go all, way outside the outside the box here. If you were to uh -oh. punk yourself and you had to you had to create a scenario to be punked, what do you think you'd do? Um, it would probably have to be like. Walking out on stage in front of a bunch of people to do a gig, and nothing uh, gets a musician more than either your monitor mix being really bad or your amp not working or something like that. that that'd be a good way to get me. Um, but you know, sometimes you go out there and you find out what kind of actor you are because mm -hmm. sometimes there are quick situations, the mix is all messed up, you can't hear anything. But you can't get all mad and bummed out because people are there to have a good time and see you perform. So you've got to just, uh, you got to just put on that face sometimes, you know. Fake and, it until you make it. You know, and mm -hmm. there'll, be, taking notes, right? there'll be times oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm... where something's just killing your ears, but <laughs> you've got to be like, uh, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> did you just air guitar? He, he did. Was that an air that, guitar? That was more like bass, the little that was, bass, that was a bass stance. Yeah. But uh, he was trying to get me to air guitar. I'm like, easy, man. You just did again. Did I just you? got you to air guitar like he three times. He got me. But, <laughs> but I'm like, easy, you can't ask a, a, a real musician to what? air guitar. We don't Dude. air guitar. We actually guitar. No, but you, you've you done some really promising, promising things. And just name some of the people you performed with. And, and I know you guys got some things coming up, right? Um, we've been really blessed. Uh, we've played with Van Halen this year, Kiss. We've got Aerosmith coming up. Up. Um, you know, we're we're getting some really nice opening slots on some some good tours, and um, my band is Dawkin, if you didn't know, and we have a website called Dawkin Central. But um, we're doing it, and there's a lot of iconic tunes that we have that people love. It is 80s rock, but um, we've got it. We've got a new record out, so check it out at Dawkin Central. There you go. So what's, I mean, you're on the easy show. You're doing it the easy way. You got to tell us what's coming up next. And, you know, I know you've done a lot of projects and you, you were just telling me last time we were talking about some new acting project you're doing. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm thrilled about a, a movie we uh, wrapped about three months ago called A, a Remarkable Life. Yeah. And uh, we've got Eric Roberts, Mark Margolis, Daphne Zuniga, Chris Bruno, Marie Avjergopoulos. Um, I'm blessed to have a nice part in there. I play uh, the ex-love interest of one of the leads in there that's not quite willing to let her go. My you mean you're not holding a gun or killing somebody? Uh, love interest? I do play. I do play a badass in it. Oh, uh, okay. There is okay. some fighting in it. Mm -hmm. I'm not willing to let uh, 
Stop stereotyping him, guys. Go. He can play a lot, uh, you know, a nice, you know, like janitor or something. Uh, Selena Gomez. What's what, 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 what? We're looking at. That's Selena Marie. No, uh, that's Marie Avzergopoulos. Oh, I thought that was Selena Gomez. Wonderful Gomez's. actress. She uh, just wrapped a movie with Taylor Lautner. Uh, she's on a show called Cult. Oh, okay. So we're real happy. Um, that her success is, you know, taken off, and it's going to be great for the movie. We're cutting the movie right now. It looks great. I've also got some of my music in it from a band called Burning Rain that I'm also in uh, with Doug from. I've Mike's heard that Snake. song. We we actually yeah. played that song on, on my blog talk. Oh, that's right. Yeah, pray out, pray out loud. A lot of good responses. Uh, pray out loud rocks. It's got a great message. Um, so we're thrilled about that. I got to perform in the movie. There's a music scene where. Or There's fang, the music video. This, fang, is, this uh, is the rain video, right? That's Burning Rain. Yeah. Burning rain. Okay. That is not uh, from the movie. Watch, but, the, watch, uh, watch, watch, watch the booty shot. Oh yeah, there's, some, there's a little bit of booty Where's in the there. booty shot? Uh, Where's that? Oh, it's coming out. There it is. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. You weren't, av you weren't available. I'm Settle sorry. Down. We would have we hired you. Settle down. Oh. <laughs> uh, we have fun, don't we? we oh, do. man. Well, let's talk about social media. Like, I know, as an actor and as a musician, you know, how how beneficial has it been to you? And you know, how what is your life with social media? Well, I see the deer in the headlights look. Right it's uh, well, <laughs> I'm talking the guru of social media. So you know, it's like, um, you know, it's an interesting thing because I think as as actors and uh, artists and stuff, a lot of times you don't want to be, you know, me, 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 me. And it's an interesting line because social media is about promoting. You know yourself or your projects and Speaking things like that. Speaking of, there's your Twitter, Sean McNabb LA. Um, Sean McNabb LA on Twitter. Might as well do it. And uh, we got Facebook, Sean McNabb. Uh, there's there's Sean McNabb fan page. There's Sean. If McNabb you follow him, he'll kiss a guy. Uh, not, <laughs> not, not unless uh, I'm working easy, which I'm just, is I'm just playing. a job. But there's, but, there's another side to it. I know you don't want to sound like you're being all like egotistical, but the thing is that the fans, it gives the fans a place to find you, to follow what you're doing, right, right. to keep up with everything, yeah. and it gives you an opportunity to, to give back, to connect, you know, with, with all those and people. That, and that's so, really what I love yeah. about social media. But at the same time, I've always been, you know, a little bit understated and uh, try to stay completely humble, you know, because that's your fans who page? I am, and uh, that's my Yorkie right there. That's your. Um, yeah. I, we work with the Yorkie. I charity. know you do. I didn't I know, know you were the Yorkie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shout outs to uh, Yorkie Rescue of America. We're gonna have to talk about that. Oh, I love those little guys. Um, but anyway, it's an interesting thing, and and you you hit it on the head. It's about connecting with your fans out there and people that are interested, and that's what's beautiful about it. Now it's a little intimidating because Easy is the guru of social media, so uh, help a brother out, would you? Uh, we're gonna definitely be talking, and you guys can actually download my application. Just go to Eric Zuli on Apple or Android, and uh, we got some cool little tricks that will interact you with celebrities and uh, people that are doing it the easy way. So definitely check it out. And there's my Twitter. Eric Zuli, E R I C Z U L E Y. And uh, man, I haven't passed 400,000 yet. Come on, guys. Get it moving. Press the button. Um, and then they follow you, Taylor Mills, on um, Facebook or Twitter? I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. Um, you can check out if you're into music at musicpumponsigned.com. Now let's there talk about that too. You got yeah. an artist right here, and then oh, you yeah. have music, music pump unsigned. Yes. What is this? This is, um, we actually have a music show where. We feature unsigned artists and bands and people who aren't actually with a record label. And it's a really fun show. We, we uh, feature them in there doing their music. We like create music videos for them and then we interview them. Similar to That's you, pretty, Easy. Can yeah. you, I know you can sing. Can you? He, he puts me on the spot all no, the time. No, I don't want to put you on ago. the spot. It's okay. <laughs> but can, anyway, can you sing for us? Oh, okay. <laughs> Summertime, summertime. Sean, you air guitar, you do the bass, I'll do the drums. That's it. And, <laughs> and the living is easy. And the living is easy. <laughs> Is that really oh, part man. of the lyrics? That's part yeah, of it. Wow, that's yeah, cool. That might be a new it's, theme song, Easy. That's, there we go. There you yeah. go. Easy and jazz. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about reality shows and, and projects nowadays. Do you think that what people are putting out is positive for the youth nowadays, Sean? Um, I think some of it is, you know. Uh, I, I think there's so much out there that it could probably, some of it could go either way. but. Um, you know, we were talking about this a little bit uh, earlier. It was shows like um, The Voice and American Idol and stuff. I think there's some really talented people out there. Can you slouch down a little bit? We're cutting off your head. Um, 
There we go. I think now it's... <laughs> now, now, you know, it's too far up. <laughs> now, uh, I, I think those shows are really cool and fun to watch. Uh, there's some really talented people out there. There's some not-so-talented people out there, too, and it shows that. But um, the only thing that uh, I think with some of those shows is there may be a kid over in Van Nuys that didn't get on the show mm -hmm. but wrote this mm -hmm. song that knocked everybody out. That nobody's ever going to As we put hear. American Idol on, no point, no point intended. Man. Yeah, Great show. yeah, that's amazing. Um, amazing <laughs> shows. Uh, but if I think that it's that big press thing. If if you didn't make the show or something, maybe you're you're not going to get that push, and people aren't going to hear that song that knocked everybody out. And there's really talented people out there that need to be heard. Well, it's funny that you're saying that because we actually are doing a talent thing, guys. Uh, it's called Talent Time, and you can go every Friday at nine o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time on EasyWayTV.com on my show, and we have a lot of things we're doing with Roscoe's where we're looking for talent, and as well as we're going to be opening a lot, a lot of opportunities on this show and everything that we're doing. And we have people like Sean that I don't know, maybe come come out and be a judge or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm all about helping. Helping oh, yeah. the people. Will, will there be yeah. chicken and waffles there? Of course, okay. of course, always. And beautiful co-hosts and angels right, cool. and. How about yeah. the smothered potatoes with the hot sauce? Oh, okay, uh, now you're taking a We got we got thought. cornbread. Okay. We got some cornbread. Cornbread yeah. works. And um, hopefully you know you can bring Christina. I'm serious. I want to do I want to do. There's the channel by the way behind us right there. And we're doing it the easy way. And um, actually, if you click on um, the bottom right under the live button, you can check out. Uh, uh, that's Bishop Don Juan with uh, with Snoop Dogg, and what they're actually doing now is they're playing all of the shows on Roscoe's on Easy Way TV now. So um, that's Bishop Don Juan's show. If you click on the the one under that, uh, that's my my previous show. So I just want to give you guys a chance to actually take a look at what the um, the show is like. And this my show is called Easy Talk Live. And it's an actual full in studio. We can fast forward that a little bit because that's a little bit long, long intro. Um, but it's a it's a it's a full in studio um, talk show that also promotes talent. See, there's me and my my little headphones and my jacket and stuff. But we have celebrities, we have business people, we have talents. We do live in in studio performances. We also have a sixty thousand foot green screen studio that we can do great productions. I like stuff. that fire and, graphic, mm. man. It was like yeah. shout Motley. outs to Phil Philip Hart for for, cool, for his man. editing and stuff. It was like know. Motley Crue. Uh, we <laughs> even had a, a comedian in there the other day. Yeah. Oh, and speaking comedians? of punk, we had um, Ben Morrison from MTV's Punk with okay. Ash and Kusher, and uh, cool. he might be doing a show with us. Actually, right on the channel. That's right. Yeah, so it was pretty funny. And then we had so much talent. These these young kids that have these amazing voices. Mm -hmm. Did they actually belt in the studio? Did they oh do, yeah. They, we had a cool. live performance. Excellent. Yeah. Now, Sean, have you ever rapped before? Have you ever tried to freestyle rap? I am not uh, a rapper, but I did sing on uh, Nasty Nexus's uh, rap material uh, that Christine manages. It's one of her. Her Wednesday's child kids, adoption kids. Oh, cool! Who okay. she uh, brought in the studio, and he's got his thing going. And so I haven't actually rapped, but I sang ad libs on his rap tracks. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know that you you sang that. You mm -hmm. have a beautiful voice. Yeah, well, I don't know about that, but uh, so if if I if I beatbox, can you try to rap about the easy way or something about Christine or about? Uh, uh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. You're watching. But I hear Taylor's a pretty good rapper. Uh, She's a singer. Uh, I'm the rapper. I think she raps. How about you beatbox and I'll rap? And, uh, and I'll just groove in the middle. She'll dance. Groove, yeah. That'll oh. work. Can you beatbox? Um, there you go. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. Okay, you're watching Easy Way TV or maybe the Easy Show. Oh, now here we go. Because you've got Sean McNabb from Sons of Anarchy. And hey, you can call me Easy. No, not Easy. -E. He died a long time ago. But hey, you guys, I'm sorry. We got to go. You're watching the Easy Show. So I hope you had fun. And I'm the one. No, he's second. And she's three. Not to none. All right. I'm glad you guys watched it. It's the Easy Show. Thanks for hanging out with us. Stay tuned for the next show. Every month we're doing the Easy Show, the Easy Way. Love you guys. Thanks for Bye. having me, Easy. Both a kiss and you do the pound. Yeah, cool. All right, yeah. Follow. Life is hard. That's why I wrote the Easy Way. Life is hard. That's why I wrote the Easy Way. Life is hard. That's why I wrote the Easy Way. Life is hard. That's why I wrote the Easy Way. Right. Right. Very nice. Let's take